Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another Google Meet training video. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different. Um, this one's going to be specific to using an iPad as opposed to a laptop or desktop. Uh, if you want to watch that video, I'll put the link to that in the description or you should be able to click um, in the upper right hand corner and that will take you to the video. So before we get started, uh, there are a couple things you're going to need. Um, one is the Google Meet app. Um, so if you navigate over to your app store and type in Google Meet, um, the little white and green icon with the speech bubble and the video camera will appear. Go ahead and download that. You will need an iTunes account. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you don't have one, you'll have to make one. Uh, the second one you're going to need to download, um, not required uh, for Google Meet to function, uh, but it does make your life easier, and that's going to be the Google Calendar app. Um, to download that, again, you want to go over to the App Store, type in Google Calendar, it's the blue and white icon with 31 on the calendar. Uh, go ahead and download that, and then it will prompt you to sign in with your Gmail account or your YDI account, and then that's going to link all those meeting invites and calendar information to the calendar. So once you've done that, uh, go ahead and open your Google Calendar, right there. And then once that loads, all your calendar information is going to come up with any meetings you've been invited to. Um, if you do want to create a meeting, go ahead and watch the other video um, on how to use a desktop. It will go over how to create the meeting. Um, the only slight difference is the create button you'll see in the other video is that plus sign at the bottom right with the Google Colors. So once you're ready to join the meeting, um, go ahead and click on the meeting. I'm going to use this one right here from Tuesday. It's an old meeting and that's okay. So this little preview window is going to pop up. Um, this looks very similar to what's on a laptop or desktop. Um, has joined with Google Meet, joined by phone, um, any other information you might need, um, additional attachments, and then guests. Um, but for this, we're just going to hit Join with Google Meet. There we go. And you're going to be prompted with the same lobby window that you're going to get on the laptop and desktop. Um, same functionality. Uh, you have the ability to turn off your video. I'm going to leave it off for the rest of this. And then you can turn off your microphone right there. Um, once you're all set, Go ahead, <clears throat> excuse me, and hit join meeting. And that's going to bring you into the meeting. Now there's a few few different things in terms of the layout. Uh, the bottom is still the same. You still have your microphone muting, um, hanging up or leaving the meeting, and then turning off and on your video. Now the, the biggest change um, the more options, those three little dots that was on the bottom right, has now moved to the top right, and you can see that up here. Um, same options. Um, the only thing I'm missing here is recording, and that's because the iPad has a built-in recorder um, that's actually being this video is actually being recorded using that. I wouldn't advise using that if you plan on recording the meeting, um, just because it does take some time to set up and it's a little hidden. Um, so I wouldn't try to record the meeting using the iPad. If you are planning on recording, go ahead and use some sort of a computer or laptop to do that. Um, and you still have your present screen right down there. Um, again, if, if you are planning on presenting, I wouldn't default to using the iPad. Just because you have to present it and you have to close the Google Meet app, open what you want to present, go through it, and then you have to remember to go back into the app um, versus just kind of clicking the tab on a computer. Um, it's a little more confusing. Um, some people tend to get lost doing that. So again, if you are planning on presenting any information, I would recommend just doing it on a computer or laptop. So the next thing um, is the meeting details, and that's where you can find those attachments that you preload or uploaded to the meeting beforehand. Um, again, if you're just watching this video first, I would go back and watch the other one 
um, so you can understand that back end of adding attachments. But if you do need to access them, go ahead and click this little I, and then down there at the bottom where you see attachments, that's where those would show up. Um, again, here's all the meeting details. If you someone to, wasn't invited to the meeting and you wanted to bring them in, you can just email them that meet.google.com link, or you could send them that phone number and they can call in with their phone. Um, again, I would try to have them use some sort of internet-based system, um, like a computer, laptop, iPad, uh, just so their connection is a little more re reliable. Sometimes calls with a cell phone signal tend to cut in and out. So that's that. Um, you still have your chat window. That icon is the same. And you can talk to other participants while someone else is talking, just so you don't interrupt them. And then if you click on the little person icon, that lets you see who else is in the meeting. And that's it. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, on the iPad, it's really nice having a system that has a built-in microphone and camera. Um, it's such a small, little compact device.